go see the goats. So I wanted to take you on an update to see the goats. Because <laughs> we have the best goats. And if you look, if I crouch down, you see they'll come out of their little house. Come on babies! Her. I know. I know. You're nervous with the camera. <laughs> See, I don't know what that thing is. What is that? What is that? What is that? That's a very big goat. Back up, they think I have trees. <laughs> Don't you? Sillies. Yeah, you're so bad. Look at the goats. They're so cute and affectionate. So, you want to go sit in the house or on your stump? Come on. Come on, goats. jump onto it from without using the ramps at all. <laughs> you make me a little nervous. Oh, do you want to say hello? Can you come here? Can you say hello? Yeah. Aw. Are you a snuggler? Are you a snuggler, baby? Yeah, you're a snuggler. You're a snuggly goat, aren't you? 
Yes, you are. Snuggly gold. <laughs> Hi, baby. Look. What you doing? Doing your bud? What are they doing up there? Huh? What are my girls doing? You sillies. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Oh, now they have to both be here. Bite over it. Don't die. Hello. Hello, silly. What you doing? Do you want hugs? Do you want hugs? Yeah. Are you there? Hmm? Hmm? Who's up there? Are we two in cud? Are we little cud jewelers? Huh? Are we cut your words? Do we follow me? Follow mama. What do you think, pretties? Oh, there's the pretty goats. Look at those beautiful goaties. There she goes. What you doing? What you doing, sweet pea? Valkyrie. Hi, baby. She's got such pretty blue eyes. Yeah. Here they go. They've got a pretty nice area here. And they can go up into the front yard. And they like to do that. They jump over the log. <laughs> Don't ya? Pretty girls. Pretty, pretty girls. Here we go, run. Here I go. Come on, goats. Come on. <laughs> there they go. There they are. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's a good goat. Rogue. <laughs> what are you doing? Hmm? I'm being silly. What are you doing? Are you dancing? Are you dancing? Two goats. <laughs> nice. Oh, what's your heart? Oh, somebody's watching you eat. Hi, Rogue. So, here I am at the goat area. And Brian put up our gate for us. And we've got kind of these... I'm getting some more of it. We've got temporary electric fences up for now. Um, they're working pretty good. They're designed for goats. So, they do pretty good. And we've tested them. They don't hurt too bad with the shock just enough to kind of deter them from wanting to go to the fence and once they did it once they seem to pretty much stay <laughs> a good foot from the fence at all times so I think they work pretty well um, we're gonna eventually run it down and around 
so that they have the, the whole big area here. Um, but for right now, this is we want to make sure these fences were going to work before we got more of it. And then later we'll get more permanent fences once we're sure of where we want them situated. So this is also a somewhat temporary shelter for now. Once we have a more permanent wood and metal roofing goat shelters, we'll probably use this for feed storage or hay or something like that, but it's it's kind of cool, I think. And I put it together, so there's probably some some judgment happening there, but it's a dog kennel with one of the little tarp roofs that fits on top of it. But then I took this clear PVC paneling from Home Depot and just zip tied it, um, punched a hole in it and zip tied it all around. And then we've got the roof held down on the sides with these bungee cords so that it can go over that paneling. And it stays pretty dry in there. Here. That's been working really well. I just come in in the morning and put their hay in here. And I found that since they can get to it from on top and they can get to it from down here, that they really aren't pulling more than I would expect down. I think mostly when they're pulling it down it's because they're wanting to lay on it. So, um, right, baby. Brian's going to build them a sort of a stand to stand on instead of on this, this um, straw bale because they're pooping and peeing on it and I just don't want it to be so yucky. So I'm going to have him build, build a stand for them and then we're going to spread the straw out and I think that will help some with them wanting to pull some of this hay out because I think right now Sweetie Pie over here is making the, the hay down the Valkyrie. Say hi Valkyrie. Say hi YouTube. Hi YouTube. And that's Rogue. <laughs> um, yeah. The only thing that kind of happened that was a little unexpected is that I thought that they just would need the minerals. So I've got their minerals in here. So they've got minerals and they've got baking soda and some kelp. And I didn't realize that they would also need a salt block. So a couple days in they started licking the ground and I looked it up and I realized they needed a salt block. So I did go get that. But otherwise... I think this little setup we've got here is working pretty good for now. It's nice and warm in here. Nice and warm and dry, right? And nice and happy. Even though it's raining. Yes. Very fish. They're very good little goats, aren't they? Very cute. Right now I have two buckets in here. This bucket I had for some water with molasses in it for a while because they, they haven't been here very long and I wanted them to kind of get a little extra nutrition and drinking water and things like that for dealing with the shock of moving. So I, I put some molasses water in there and so now I need to take that out but they've got their regular bucket of water and this feed trough which I'm eventually going to move over to the Bucklings because I'm going to start training them to stand on the goat stanchion when, once I get that built. Um, and I want them to get used to eating their grain and their, their pellets and stuff like that. This is mostly just alfalfa pellets and, and some bee pellet and things like that. So um, I, want it, I want them to get trained to standing on the milk stand and that's where they get some, some food and some love and things like that so they get used to it before they eventually get to be milk goats. I do have a light in here just because I was a little worried about it being too cold with it being kind of cold and drizzly right now and them making the move and just wanting to make sure it was extra warm and I'm kind of glad I did because I can see them from the house now because of these clear walls. 
so uh, so it makes it very nice to just be able to look out the window and see them. You think? Nope. Yes, that's what I think too. Pretty by that red barn. It looks so pretty. 